Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add video to your interactive magazine. In the Design tab, under the Interactive panel, we have two icons that will allow us to do this. The first is the Video button icon, and immediately below it we have the Embed video icon. Embed video is used when we have specific areas mapped out on our magazine where we would like the video to be played, such as here on the front cover. The first button, Insert Video, is when we'd like a pop-up panel to appear to the reader to give more real estate for showing our video on screen. Let's show you all options. First, we'll work with embedding a video. Select the area of the page where we'd like that to play. And now we select the video that we'd like to play. I have this stored on my magazine, but you can also link out to files on YouTube and also on Vimeo. I'm not going to need a poster to appear on the front of my video today whilst it's not playing because my video, using the advanced options, will be set to auto start on page. I don't need to present any rollover text to my user, but I'll do that in subsequent examples. Click OK and it copies across my media file. It's important to note that your video file should be MP4 format if you'd like them to appear on a tablet or on a smartphone. Let's preview those changes before we continue. As the magazine builds, this video should automatically start on the page without me clicking anywhere. And so it has. OK, let's move on to step two. Return to our software. I've moved to page five of our magazine because I'd like to insert a video button that has to be clicked by the user in order to run the video. And I'd like that video to appear as a pop-up panel on the screen. So I need the first button, the video button. Select the area where I'd like that button to appear and have that presented as a button to the end user. I'm going to choose the same video file as before. And this time, I'm going to present some rollover text to the end user. This one will not auto start on page. These video buttons can be changed to incorporate your branding and colors, but we provide you with a set of default buttons. Those buttons can be modified in the top half of the menu on screen. So that's step two. We've inserted a video file which will be activated by the end reader with some rollover text and it will present a video that we have copied across to our folder. Step three. Let's move to an area of the magazine on page seven where we have a designated area and we'd like all of this area to be clickable in order to play a video. The video that we will use in this area will be a YouTube video, so I can show you how to link out to videos on YouTube. Again, let's select the video button and select the area of the screen that we would like to be clickable as our hotspot area to launch this video. Instead of choosing button on this occasion, we will stick with hotspot. Instead of choosing a video file from my own computer, I want to link to a YouTube video. I simply select the last 11 digits on my YouTube URL, which is the unique ID for this video on the YouTube channel. And I copy and paste that into my video field in the 3D issue software, like so. Again, under the advanced settings, I have the option to present some rollover text to the end user if I choose to do so. It's not appropriate for me to auto start this video on page, so I don't need that option. And we click OK. Let's recap before we view our changes. In this area, I have inserted a video file as a hotspot area on the screen, which has already been designed into my magazine.
This will present a pop-up video panel and it's linking out to a YouTube video. It's important at this point to remind you that we link to Vimeo files in the same way. With Vimeo files, we simply take the last eight digits from the URL, which is the unique identification for this video file, and again, we copy that into our video field within the software. We also inserted a video on another area of this magazine, on page 5, as a button, which is quite obvious to the user. And when the user clicks on this button, they'll be presented with some rollover text that will tell them what to expect. Let's view those changes. I can't use preview. I must build the magazine on this occasion because it's linking out to the internet in order for that YouTube video to work. So let's review our changes. Here we are on the first page where we had our auto start video appear. And let's move through to where we inserted the video button. Now remember when we click on this button, we did apply some rollover text which appears to the user. And it is going to bring in our YouTube video. It will appear on screen on the default settings set within the software, but when the video is played, and there it is, it will actually, I will show you where you can actually customize those settings. Okay, just to remind you, when you were inserting the video button, you had the option here to run with the fixed size, which is what you're seeing on screen right now, 320 by 240. But if you click on custom size, you can increase the width and the height, and therefore you control the amount of real estate that your video will take up on screen for your reader. Moving on to our last video, we selected an area of the screen as a hot spot, and we again provided some rollover text to the end reader, and here if we click on this, it will pull up our video on screen. And this is in fact the YouTube video that we linked to earlier. And you can see that the end reader has controls here to stop the video when they choose to. Okay, and that concludes this video tutorial on adding video to your digital magazines. Thank you for watching.